Hello everybody and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create a fire using the dynamics features in Maya. So you need to create a spear, polygon spear first or a nav spear first to be used as the geometry to be applied the fire effects. Now uh, scale lower your geometry and position it like it is uh, falling from uh, somewhere so in this case uh, we are uh, sliding it rightwards then we will apply the fire then click on the fire box option box effects fire option box then uh, apply some settings changes if you like density or something like that and hit play, hit clear create and then uh, play as you can see that it is uh, it created the fire and uh, we can actually make the animation process now so first select select the object and uh, select the channel properties and right click and key selected or key all then a key is uh, created at the first of our timeline so I take it rightwards then scroll last time timeline and uh, position it to the left portion that it is like falling mm, and uh, yes position it's position it then zoom in and uh, look for the timeline how it actually plays and it is uh, like slow so we need to lower the timeline select the object and shift select the key and drag it to like 24 or 23 frames and also that timeline and hit play it will play and now that our scene is like set up uh, let's have a render uh, is looking like it is falling throughout somewhere from somewhere and now select the object and now click the hyperset and we will apply a material and we will choose a basic Lambert middle click and drag it to the object or the sphere and double click on this IVAX hyperset to change the color to a, li to, to a light not light it is darker red type then uh, then we will see how it looks and we will apply some glowing effects special effect like glow to increase that and test it and we need to increase uh, big much more so drag it and let's let's test yes we need to tweak a little bit uh, of course uh, you can uh, play with this uh, hyper set option i mean the lambert how it suits yourself i mean what type of effect effects you are after so it is up to you mm, and of what type of material you are going to set and after that what it will do uh, we will do a sequence of render and uh, I will show you how to do that also and we will not hide the source because um, people will not fall that think that uh, it is falling like the like only the fire is falling and click on the actually the rock we will select the rock for the material of the geometry and it is uh, actually it is upon you what type of material you are for we will lower down the material and now after that just uh, tweak a little bit and um, select the material select the portion and now we can see that uh, we will render this sequence from left to right right to left sorry so click on the we will ch change the render settings and click on the Maya software click intermediate and we will change it to we will give a name that is fire and uh, we will also click on select the uh, name dot has dot ext and start premium pin 1 to 25 then 
dimension of the resolution is it is it will be NTSC or something like or HD you like if you like then uh, then we will render and hit the re self render actually render self and you can also actually click create click here to render batch render or after the rendering menu and batch render and if your images will be stored on on your disk and oh yeah, yes it is done I and mean done you can see on app check so I have a another version I can show you it is a it is like it is a bit much faster than the free than this now of we have now so it is uh, an animation of the fire speeding fire like a ball is going so that's all thank you very much for watching